Welcome back to the channel, folks. My name is Joel Duggan, and a big thank you to Cosmic Dancer for 5,000 bits, True Purple resubbing at Tier 1 for 62 months, and Grandpa Crafter resubbing at Tier 1 for six months in a row. Grandpa Crafter, that is the Air Keystone badge for you. That's amazing. Thanks very much. Mind Trip Media with 1,000 bits, some extra bits. I've been away this week. Thanks so much, Mind Trip Media. Appreciate it. Obu, good to see you. True Purple. Who else is here? Lots of good folks. Thanks so much for the support. And that's a hype train. Level three. Currently about 80% of the way through level three. So if you want to join in and grab one of those emotes from Twitch, then you can use a tier one, a prime gaming sub, or 100 bits. And that will get you access into the hype train. We're on the Citadel. Surprise. We are in West Hill. Also surprise. And we are going to pick up where we left off. We unfortunately have a lot of aminals, beasts, unwanted vermin hanging around. So I'm going to do a once around here and just make sure we don't have anything that's creeping around that will blow things up. There's the dead zombie. I think we're good otherwise. So over the last few streams we have finished up this little inn on the hill and i think it adds quite a lot to the landscape here provides something in front of the keep or in the castle and the uh, the town it helps kind of gauge some distance as well as to how far that is away and yesterday we finished up the gardens the walls the back garden and the second tier of grass so we did not touch the tree i'm considering the tree and this path kind of part of this road and i don't yet know how we're going to handle that road i think i like that it goes up over the hill like that but i'm not entirely sure we may end up taking that down to this level this level here it might be better to do that although i do kind of like that wall there so we'll we'll see either way uh, I don't know what's happening in this space, and I still don't know what we're doing here. That's probably what we're going to figure out today. This here, I'd imagine, would be very similar to what's happening on the other side. It's just going to be foliage and bushes and things. I feel like there could be something here. We might want to try to add something there. I feel like a little path off the road here would make sense, something like that. Uh, I don't think I want to do any bridges. We've got one bridge there, and then we've got the other bridge down there. I don't know that we need another little bridge going across there it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense you wouldn't really go anywhere so probably going to leave it like that and what else are we saying here grandpa crafter with 2000 bits thanks very much and true purple with another 100 bits getting into level four in the hype train with three and a half minutes left to complete level four thanks so much grandpa crafter and thank you again true purple so we've also got this giant space here which I'm not entirely sure about either. I feel like a tree would go good there, but I've tried that a couple times. I think one of the things we might have to do is finish up stuff like this farmland before we know what's going to go in this space. And I feel like we might have to do like maybe some walking paths and things through here. I don't really know. It's one of the problems of a project this large is that there are some spaces that I just don't know yet what to do. I do think a tree would go good around here. I might try to plant one today and just kind of see what Minecraft gives us. We did that over there and it worked out quite well. And then over here, we did a lot of this stuff where it's just like bushes and grass and some decoration. And I think that's probably what's going to happen in this space. But before I do that, I need to know what's happening with this path. So. I think the easiest thing to do is to going to be to go down here and create some little beachfront and as a reference I've got this spot over here. I don't think we're going to put in a dock. I think we'll just put in like this kind of mix. Soul soil, soul sand, that kind of thing. So that's the plan. Well, it's easier than fly. the thing about the free cam which is nice is that I can fly around with my elytra, but then I'm always moving and it becomes a real pain. 
Also, that was all at 60. No wonder I was getting seasick. All right. We definitely need to uh, do a little inventory maintenance here. And I'd like to try and take a minute and maybe clean up some of the shulkers and add some labels where we can. I've got this mod on the server and I'd like to try and use it if we can. How should I organize this? We've got stairs, labs. And walls. And we've got stairs. Labs and walls. Also blocks. I guess that's the tricky part. Use a lot more of those, maybe. Maybe that's the way to do it. Tarsiris with Prime, 29 months, jumping in on that hype train. And that was a level three hype train. And it looks like a ghost, I guess, maybe, is the... Is the thing. That's cool. <clears throat> so in some cases, we do have items that can um, indicate what's inside the chest. I think it's good. Like for wood, I think we can use trapdoors. Moss, we could use carpet. But for the bl some blocks, I just don't know what we're going to be able to use for blocks. In some cases, we might be stuck that way. So first, I need an anvil. So for example, iron ingot, very easy to do, right? I'll put this over here. That was loud. Got my iron ingot, got my shulker box. Iron, right? Doesn't stick out too far, pretty straightforward. That's great because inside of my ender chest, I have multiple white boxes and so it's nice to know which one is which so that's good um i might even switch the position of these so that there yeah, right so you can have three your initial brain goes yeah it's one of those white ones and then you can go in <clears throat> and uh oops You can go in and see which one is which. Blast Jordan, good to see you. Uh, I could put this in here. I'm trying to think about other things that could represent the use cases for these things. For example, this is my 
important items box, so I feel like a diamond on that is probably a good way to go. Although it's the only one of the only black shulker boxes I use. And this at least is a sprite that it doesn't matter which way it's facing, it's gonna be pretty obvious which it is. And we can always take these things off too if we don't like them. So cases like this, right? We've got bushes and we've got bamboo. And then we've got, like, I feel like this is an easy one to do. But then we've got grass and we can't really do anything with the blocks. Same with the dirt. Right, but then this one is all the decorative stuff. And thankfully, one of the things I keep in here is a rooted item. Oh, I guess it doesn't take up the diamond? I thought it took up the diamond when you when you did this thing. I thought it actually used up the item, but I guess it doesn't. I guess that would make sense if you wanted to use something like netherite, then you wouldn't want that netherite thing being caught up. So I've got multiple brown shulker boxes, and now my like dirt landscaping shulker box is going to have a symbol on it. Why is that upside down? That's annoying. Um, bamboo. So I guess they always face north is the deal. Yeah. Terracotta is going to be difficult. Copper is going to be easy because we can use an ingot, right? I'm forgetting to put the stuff back before I put the box back. Right, so that's going to be fun. Um, then I have to figure out what to use for these. Now some of these, I've got like two boxes of flowers, so one of them, maybe we just have to put a certain color of flowers in. But this is the stuff that I find really tricky. All the blocks. I can't think of what we could use. Are there any items... That would make sense. I guess I could use like pickaxes, like stone pickaxe, wooden pickaxe, that kind of thing. Oh, you've got all the tra uh, the uh, hype train emotes, Cosmic? So for stone, we could use a pressure plate. Right? That could be easy. Provided we can see it. Oh, it sticks out like it's in an item frame. Never mind. That's going to be really problematic. Thought I had that one licked. Never mind. So it has to be something that displays flat. So with the with these guys, it'll be easy. We could just use the saplings, right, from each one, or we could use hanging signs. How do those display in an item frame? That makes sense, right? Oh, I don't have a hanging sign in this one. I think it's this in chains, right? Oh, I've got the wrong kind of lock. Do 
don't know how many uses I have. I only have two levels left, so I can only do do the two that we use the most, I guess. <clears throat> Did I put the wrong one on there? So we need to go get some more levels, I guess, before we can continue this. But I think if I can use items on most of these, then I think it'll help with going back and forth here. I don't know how those... I guess we could make another hammer. Yeah, so I with the flowers, I think it would be good to have, like... I'll try to separate the flowers into maybe, like, having the two tall box with all the special flowers and then have another box that has other stuff. And then a third one that has more like the vegetable stuff. See, I don't need these in this box anymore because I have all of them over here. So there's stuff like that that I can just remove. So like create some extra space in there by moving that to its own box. These are boxes that are left over from very early starts in the game. Bushes, unfortunately, I don't know what we can do. Moss carpet is going to display funny, so that's annoying. Snow layers are also going to display funny. Bone meal, we could just use the flat bone meal. There's a couple things we can do, but not everything is going to work out. And in some cases, I don't have any other, like, I don't have any other magenta boxes. So, like, that's the die box because it's the only one, right? Whereas I've got wood boxes that I don't necessarily need. Potion box would be very easy to, to do as well. Don't think there's any items for ice. Sand, we'd have to get creative, like maybe cactus or something. I don't know. Prismarine, we could use shards. Like there's some things we could do, but then. Yeah. We'll have to see. It's not going to be quite as practical as I hoped. Why is all this in here? I keep on forgetting to add a recipe to uncraft bamboo because I want to be able to do both. I want to be able to turn it into bamboo planks, but I think a crafting recipe to re reverse it would be good too. It would make storing bamboo a lot easier. All right, well, we can get a little bit of headway going on the beach then. Grab that, that. Oh, we're gonna need more mud. Decent pallet. And we're going to need grass blocks, probably dirt blocks, and probably stone blocks. Yeah, we're going to go down and do like a little, little riverfront. But before I do that, I want to show you this little bit over here. So this isn't the secret entrance. This is just a drain, but I quite like it. And if we did something like that without the bricks, maybe for the secret entrance over there, then we could have 
a decent shot at it. Unless we make it look like a drain and have it also be a secret entrance. That could be cool too. That could be fun too. But really, the main, I guess, purpose here is to have a path that kind of comes down here and then winds around to the beach. But right now it's far too steep. <clears throat> I keep on forgetting that that fox is still in the boat. So I've got half a mind to pack all this stuff up and put it away. Maybe I'll do that on my first break. But right now, I do sort of like the idea of not being right down here. I like being up a little bit. So I think what we'll do is clear this back. And then we'll add in sort of that level. And then we can start to mess with this. Now, I think, yeah, there was only a few of them that were beach. And we've got slabs in these too that we can work with. Didn't bring any coarse dirt. Wait a minute, can you do packed mud? No, there's no slabs in packed mud. Never mind. I would like to know why these things get grayed out in the hotbar. The pack is old, it definitely needs an update. I guess that's all right. I'm trying to figure out which one of these is going to be the darkest to try to. That's the darkest. I think this is the lightest. We may not use that, you know?
Might be easier to do the whole thing in coarse dirt first. I think some of this may have to be lower. Ooh. Every time I see you use rooted dirt, it makes me make a mental dote to collect some using my paths. You've not used any? So the best place to get it is in the 118 area. Try to find a lush cave and like dig down from the azalea tree. That's the fastest way to get it. Growing azalea is just painful because you only get one block per, unless you need a lot of oak, oak wood, then I mean, sure, right? Oh, that's, hmm. We might have to find a different color slab to work in here too. that's too dark or not at any rate I think from here the best thing to do is to actually draw the path in and so I'll use coarse dirt for that that way it'll show up and I like most of what I've got here That'll go there. Actually, probably there. Not sure if that's too wide. Yeah, let's dial that back. So you can see the outside edge there, but it's not quite as smooth as I'd like it to be. So from here, we'll go down to there. And then here, there. What I normally do is I map out the path, the edges, vertically. And we might want to go a little bit farther, actually. So this comes in here. So 
so what happened here? little tricky mentioned yesterday we're looking forward to possibly building in the modern city again do you have any specific builds idea no no I just the simplicity of it the added tool of having free cam I think is fun I think also it's been a while since we've been in the modern city so there's other blocks we can use now Ianni, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. It's still pretty steep. Might be the easiest way to do it. And then on the inside, what I would do is just replace all this, start from scratch. So you can see I've got the outside edge of the path in there and then the easiest thing to do is just go down and figure out how wide you want the path to be so two blocks And in some cases, we're going to have to really drill it down because we're going to have to get up several blocks at a time. And it might have to be something where we have to put in some wooden stairs. That's pretty good. Yep, looks good to me. 
so now we just have to carve it down. So that's actually something you can walk down. <laughs> it's going to be tricky. We can get up a little bit higher here. Straight away. Yeah, I've thought about different ways we could implement weather control on the server. It would be cool if we had something where we could, like, it would cost the player something. Would be pretty easy to set up, I think. You just need a command block that does the thing. Yeah, that doesn't give us a lot of room. That's a lot of distance to travel. This is probably going to have to be steeper. I think I might have to cut this back. Need some spruce stairs. Maybe some dark oak stairs? I guess you can sort of see what's happening here. How I I mapped it out vertically first, and then now I'm kind of cutting that into the hillside, but I need to go up faster. Too steep, maybe? really steep. 
guess some of these are going to have to be stairs as well. How does that feel? Not bad. I would prefer if this was slabs, maybe. I was hoping to do this as all dirt path, but I think we're going to have to change it into being mostly wood. Thanks for the lurk, Grandpa Crafter. Much appreciated. Now, some of these might be better off as, like, posts. That feels kind of narrow. This is pretty steep, so I'm thinking we put put something here. That's not bad. I saw a really cool image that I think CJ had shared on Discord where someone had used uh I think it was levers as railings. No, there's not gonna be any kind of dock. I just wanted it to be some place that you could look look at this. I might have like a simple like one or two block dock, but it might have to be something more elaborate than what I have now for it to make sense.
here's maybe where it could stop with the wood. Mangrove and spruce look really good together. I, I have not used that enough, I don't think. They really look like two sides of the same, or two different sides of the same coin, don't they? This feels very odd. These will feel better, I think, if they were bushes. I guess maybe a fence there or something. Or I guess we could have another log pillar. Yeah, that feels strange. And that just feels too wide. Doesn't feel so bad. The idea is that I wanted you to look towards that. I guess you're mostly looking down because it's so steep. That's working.
probably make mossy cobble there. Be the thing. I like little bits like that that I did over there too. They're nice little touches. Yeah. Yeah, it's meant to be more more medieval than than like cottagey, you know? That's the the vibe anyway, so I'm not in love with these stairs. Oh, maybe change that. That helps them feel a little bit more kind of stuck together. I don't want it to feel super polished, you know, like I kind of wanted to feel like somebody built this over time. Slab. There we go. Friends. Break time when you're ready. Thank you, Cosmic. It is indeed that time. Folks, I take a break once an hour. Gives me a chance to refresh the coffee. Gives you a chance to grab a friend, grab a snack. Be right back.
So I wasn't planning on this being a giant wooden walkway, but that seems to be what's happening. I'm wondering if the um, if the spruce or dark oak um, siding is a bit much. I'm gonna try maybe making it match the um, the inn a little bit. I'm wondering if we change these if it'll look better. Yeah, I feel like that feels like more part of the inn, right? And we don't have to necessarily have these all be the same. I'd like to use a different color wood, but then at the same time, I feel like we'd miss out on the spruce trapdoors being such a good stepping stone, but we'll see. Yeah, that matches better with what's going on upstairs here. That's for sure. Really don't know what to do about that one. And this side, I guess, needs more, more happening as well. This is where I think we're going to have to do stone here. So we'll continue the stone path around. Maybe we'll be able to fade it off. Something like that. I guess I can grab some bricks and I wanted some mossy cobblestone and I definitely want some bushes. What what biome was that? It must be a river biome. Sunflower Plains. That's good. Stay Sunflower Plains this whole way. We can use Azalea. That's good. That's good. That's good. There's the river. Okay. Uh, Kel with the resub. Thank you, Cosmic, for the reminder. 
15 months in this wonderful community, says Cal. Where has the time gone? Thanks to Cosmic Dancer for the gift sub. That is a tier one from Cal. Uh, three month gift subscription courtesy of Cosmic Dancer entered its second month, but that's total now 15 in a row. For Cal Birdie. Thanks so much, Cal. This is where I want dirt stone. <laughs> dirt stone combo would be nice. I guess course dirt is pretty close. All right, so we can use mangrove, moss, moss carpet, all that stuff. Azalea, I mean. And I think I'm done with those. So I think this will be a nicer border if it was Azalea. It'll feel like a border, but it'll feel also a little bit softer. Yeah. Rooster Mug, hello, how's it going? That feels kind of strange. Maybe we need to... Oh no, I guess that's better there. Ooh. Sneeze stuck up on me. Whew. I think I got the mute button in time. If not, I am very sorry. Welcome back, Grandpa Crafter. Appreciate it. I'm doing all right, Rooster Mug. Allergies are hitting me hard these days. Yeah, I think that's working pretty well.
Oh, that doesn't feel right either. I think I might be able to put a chain in here, but unfortunately, like I don't want this to be higher, I don't think. Then it just feels really big. I guess I could try trapdoors on the sides for railings. It's a little samey. Maybe uh, oak trapdoors would work better. Actually, that would probably work there too. Oops, wrong thing. Hey, popping at Minecraft. Thanks for the lurk. That feels pretty good. I'm going to get some more uh, stone, I think, and work on the rock a bit. Grass is almost full again. I wanted to try levers. And chains. And oak trapdoors. Let's just make more.
So thinking maybe that. I like it, but I'm not sure I like the way that it connects with those textures. I don't like having multiple textures on vertices like that. I don't know whether this is going to work. Unfortunately, it's going to have that redstone sparkle, right? Yeah. That's annoying. Hmm. Getting there. Might be a way to change things up and have it be not quite so repetitive on the way down. Nope. Whoops. That's okay. Busy day on Twitch today. Yeah, I like the chains, Grandpa Crafter. I agree. I think the chains are pretty good. Oh, the inventory pain. It's all right, it's just stone. Yeah, I guess I could try hanging signs in there too, good night. Alright, let's go down here. That works. And then 
knock this one back. Actually, we could probably just do this whole top part like that. I don't have any slabs. Next time. It's pretty good. That feels a little bit sharp. Not bad. Although now that's all very much the same, isn't it? Hmm. I think we'll just sacrifice that idea for a cleaner look. Staircase really does a nice job of steering your view around the rock while you descend it. Tricky. Thanks. Yeah, that was the, I think the process, I mean, the, I planned it like that the whole way. I think my issue is that I've been trying to texture the stairs. So I'm constantly looking at the stairs, but I guess if you're just walking down it, then it's like, look at the cool custom cliff that I did. Look at the cool custom waterfall that I did. Look at the cool beach that I did. Right. I mean, that's the, it's the basic goal anyway. Right. All right. This is going to come down. trick here is to make this a little bit steeper. Be a lot of reshuffling, I think, of this bank to get it pushed back the way that I want. I had to do something very similar over there. Wendy the Netherite pickaxe? Yeah, it's um, Wendy the Stone Whisperer. Silk Touch. Daisy digs a lot. Netherite axe. I haven't named that one yet.
Nothing is happening to the right behind the green curtain. You mean the, um, the bush, the bush curtain? Um, that's pretty good. It's a little clean looking. I'd like it to be a little bit dirtier, but I guess we could also have more bushes on this side too. Also, I've kind of shot myself in the foot here. I kind of wanted to get away to get into this little secret passage. Or maybe it's by boat only. Or I could have a ladder here. This is kind of bugging me. That could be kind of cool, actually. Can't really see it, but you can. Havoc Tracks has raided with a party of 59. And Paisley, the midlife noob, great, great username, has followed. Thanks very much. Appreciate the raid. What were you up to on stream today? I'm assuming Minecraft, but you never know. Just enough to catch your eye. Whoops, I don't know where that went. I like that idea. Hammock Tracks, uh, yes, Minecraft, busy on my long-term world and the cathedral build in it, very cool. Well, thanks ever so much for sharing your viewers, Havoc Tracks, uh, Havoc Tracks, pardon me. Folks in my channel, if you are not familiar with Havoc Tracks, check them out on Twitch, see that cathedral. Another long-term world is always good to see. Glad that that's becoming more popular. Folks coming in with that raid, if you're unfamiliar, I am a full-time streamer and podcaster. I do the Spawn Chunks podcast with co-host and co-producer Pixel Riffs. We're going to be talking with um, MogSwap tomorrow as an interview on the show, talking about Super Flat Worlds. Should be good. I also do the Citadel Cafe podcast, and of course I stream here on Twitch Thursday through Sunday, although this week I've been able to get almost every day. So there are some days that increases uh, the chance. Uh, I feel like I need a little, a little bit of this bush to continue up. Maybe not that far. Yeah, a 
it like that. Looks good to me. Sure. I wonder if this would just be better off as a bush. Yeah, we might want to work in a little bit of flowering azalea here and there, but. Uh, papaya cat craft. Looking forward to that episode. Yeah, thanks. I think it's going to be fun. Sigil build has been going well. We finished up this little inn on the hill here over the last few streams. I think it took us about nine streams. They're only about two hours a piece though. Uh, and then right now we're taking this path and building like a little staircase and a little beach because I've got a cool waterfall there to look at and there's a cool custom cliff over here. So as you walk down this, you can get a good look at that and then you get a good look at that. And then you get a little bit of a view down this way, but there's really not much going on. This is just more, more to be like a destination rather than a, a viewpoint. And then we also have this little this little offshoot and this is going to be decorated as a secret entrance and it's just going to go to the basement inside the inn which i think is kind of fun so down here in the basement there's a little secret entrance back here really what i should do now is is maybe map this out um We're not that far off. I have to take my coordinates. This is heading in this direction. We are negative 92, 13, 68. And we've got to get to roughly Ninety one ninety eight, so fifteen blocks, and then we've got to get all the way this way. Plus, it's four block drop. I think it would be good to do like a zigzag. So five, 10, yeah, maybe we'll do that. I've got 15 blocks and then where am I here? This is 62, let's just go to 60. Sorry, 65. 60, negative 88, 65. Coordinates are underneath the map for anybody wondering. And then this is 88, 82. So... Eighty two, twelve, seventeen. So we could roughly do five and five and almost come out at the right spot. So one, two, three, four, five. What is 
Oh, that's my garden. Ah, whoops. And for every turn, we have to go down a block. One, two, three, four, five. Gravel's making this very hard. One, two, three, four, five, six. More gravel. Don't have any lights. I have to do this. Because I have ambient turn off. One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five, six. Carrying something I don't need. Two, three, four, five, six. We're about there. Can probably just try to make my way back. That was tricky. I'm sure on Twitch you probably couldn't see anything. Uh, no, the coral should be fine, Cosmic. I think that the water just drained because it's a water source, right? Yep, coral's fine. I don't want to ruin my garden. We have a lighting issue out here for sure. So I'd like to try to make this path make sense if I can. So we just come in three, and then we go one, two, three, four, five this way, and then down. Stair. Then we got one, two, three, four, five, down a stair. Down a stair there. And that should be roughly remember which one it was. off by one. So there we go. 
secret entrance. I might make it twist a little bit sooner. That's pretty fun. I think that that's, that makes sense. Get you twists you around enough to make you feel a little bit lost. And we'll remove the torches eventually. And you pop out there. Although it would be nice if this maybe this shouldn't be like a direct exit. Maybe we should have it be more hidden. One, two, three. So what if we went into it sideways? So we could have a cool, I like that look. So something like that. No, that's not quite what I want. Um, that's a little bit better. That's still kind of obvious, isn't it? Hey, the mighty Elkhorn is here. How's it going? Vili K, thanks for the follow. Scotsman, good to see you. Yeah, like I kind of want this to feel a little bit more hidden, so I'll have to work on how I want that to happen. It feels a little hidden. I guess maybe if we don't make it look like a door. That's not bad. This helps. We all know I can't leave the coal. This is going to bug me. Not bad. We could do worse. I 
I'm out of slabs, which is the main problem. I'm really happy with this little path. Okay. Those we're not using. Still working on the texture on the stairs. Good for those. More moss. And what else was I out of? Slabs and stone. Okay, so I think it's just a matter of making sure that the texture on this staircase is working. It feels really plain through here. These are full blocks, so I could change a couple of these. I always seem to get in the groove right when it starts to get dark. It's a little dark. These are all stairs. These are slabs, which means I can't really do much. I could try maybe an oak slab. No ore left behind. That's true. That's true. That's true. I say that I walk by iron ore all the time. I've got a funny feeling those are going to be too bright, but we'll see. They'll match the roof of the inn, but I think it's going to look like patchy. Oak and spruce. I've never really been able to get these to work well together the way that I want. Yeah, that's a no. I don't want that. That helps a little bit. Yeah. Staircases on an angle are always tricky. That helps a little. 
See, then it just gets to be all the same through here. Yeah, unfortunately there's no alternative there. Are these, these are full blocks though. Yep, more and more I wish we had stripped textures and stairs and slabs. Thank you, Cosmic. Appreciate it. Mm -mm -mm. That's pretty good. Uh, better off green. We're up with the, we can worry about the rest of the landscaping another time. But the broad strokes are in. that bush maybe cascade down here a little bit. So this bank I think is going to get a, a beating because I don't want this rock to continue past here. I think this is this is the end of it. So from here back, a lot of this is going to need to get cut back significantly, I think. That'll be, I think, for another time. Except for the size, it feels like it could be the adventurers in in a D&D &D campaign, and that's cool. I'll take that as a compliment. I do like that kind of, um, not ambiguous, but like when a build sort of reminds you of something else from another property or, or another idea that you've had in the past, it's always really fun. So, just to kind of recap here, the rock's looking a little perfect, like it looks like a kind of a, an egg shape, so I'd like to maybe make it look a little bit more jagged through here, uh, and we'll cut it up. This is all going to get cut back, so I think what's going to happen here, you're going to see more of a shelf along here, and eventually it's just going to be all pushed back. We have the room, we've got a couple blocks there, we've got a couple blocks there. This should be pretty easy to smooth out. I will probably start at the top and just work my way down next time. Uh, this actually came together a lot faster than I was thinking it would, and it looks pretty good. It doesn't look overly engineered. Like, it looks like it's nice, but it looks like it's probably built over time. I do like this solution here to this weird connection where we couldn't put a chain, and it makes good for the access for the stairs that leads you to 
the secret tunnel. I like that we've hidden that. I'll do a much better job of this. And I think once we get bushes like coming down here and, and layering over the top of this and then something else over here, I think it'll be really hard to spot, which will be kind of fun. And really that's, that's all that's gonna happen. Th this is kind of like the main focus area. And then we've also got this. So all of this in between is just gonna end up looking like this. Like we're just gonna treat it just like empty, you know, empty space, throw in a couple bushes. We'll probably accentuate this cliff a little bit. And then same thing, once this is done here, then it's just gonna be, I think, like I said, this kind of a grassy bush thing along here until we get to that point. And then we'll probably do just like a little a little beach or something like that. Just like little little things like that with a little path coming off the main road. And I think adding these paths where it just kind of makes sense will help with defining like where things will go. If we have a path here, then that's cool that you might actually see the path as you're looking at this and think, oh yeah, there's something to look at over this way. And that will help us like not put a giant tree there, that kind of stuff. So it should be pretty straightforward. Thanks, Cosmic. I'm glad you like it. I'm still dealing with the crazy, uh, the crazy inventory issues. So we'll have to figure that out. Uh, if there's anybody that you want to recommend for a raid, uh, I'm not sure how long Pixel Service is streaming today. He's been up for a while, I think. Short Zelda is also streaming. I'm cool with feedback in the chat as to where you might want to land. And in the meantime, you can uh, tune in to myself and Pixel Revs tomorrow on the Spun Trunks podcast. That's going to be recording uh, in the mornings and publishing probably in the afternoon. Well, no, sorry. Recording at noon. Recording at noon tomorrow. Special time because we're talking to Mog Swamp. So that'll be publishing later in the day on Monday. You can also check out things like the Citadel Cafe podcast. Both of those are available wherever you download your podcasts and on YouTube. And I will, of course, uh, point you towards patreon.com slash Joel Duggan, which is where you can support this stream, join the podcast, join the, um, the Discord, not the podcast, join the Discord and uh, hang out with all of us in between streams. It's a good time. Really appreciate all of the tier one subs, all the prime subs today. Thank you ever so much for that hype train. Very, very kind of all of you. You can, of course, uh, use those tier ones and primes to join the Discord as well. All roads lead to Rome, as they say. We're going to pass you on to Short Zelda 22. Looks like they're playing on a modern server. Always a good time. And I will see you on Thursday. Bye for now.